You know, I just realized in, you know, busy schedule, a lot going on, that just a few days ago, I celebrated two years of being celibate until marriage. And a lot of my friends, a lot of my people in my circle, we, they've, you know, wanted to, let's celebrate, you know, it's a celebratory time, and I'm all for that. I like to celebrate, I love to eat, you know, I love to have a good time and spend time with the people that I really care about the most. But I don't feel like it's a celebratory thing. I mean, I know it's something that's become an anomaly in our society, but I just feel like it's something that I should have been doing from the very beginning. I should be a virgin, but I'm not. But I was just thinking about the fact that we tend to celebrate things that are out of the norm, but it's something that's completely normal to God. He has the divine, perfect plan for our life. And the times that we think that, you know, we feel like we have to focus on those types of things or that these things deserve special attention, it's really something that's really routine. But I'm saying all, this, all of that to say that I'm really appreciative of everyone that has congratulated me. But I've, I've found that one of the things that has kept me on this path, even in the moments where I, I've had a moment where like temptation has come at me and I was able to overcome it, is knowing that there's a lot of power inside of my mouth. And it's a lot of power in the mouth of other people. Everyone has power inside of their mouths. And, the, and we have to be very intentional about what we're talking about. So that means if I'm talking about a lot of flesh, eventually it's gonna lead to some sex or some sex talk. Whatever I'm focusing my mind on, whatever's inside of my heart, whatever's inside of my mind, all of these things are, are connected. And as long as I keep my mind on certain things or anything for that matter, then it's going to come right out of this, this hole in, in my face, my mouth. And it's going to be in my mind. It's going to be in my dreams. It's going to be in my thoughts. So the more clearer, the more pure I can keep my thoughts, the more pure I can keep my actions. Never forget that. You have the authority, you have the power over your mind, you have the power over your thoughts, and ultimately, you have the power over your actions. So whenever you, I always say when, it's not if, whenever you decide to make that choice, or any choice, to commit to anything, remember, you have the power inside of you. There's no one else that can give you the power. God has already given you the power to control your mind, your words, and your actions. So with all of that power inside of you, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna control it or are you gonna let it remain uncontrollable?